class. So, welcome to our new lesson regarding Information and Communications Technology 7. So, for this lesson number 1, we will tackle what is a computer. So, before we proceed, we have this content standard for a unit to demonstrate understanding of the different types of computer. And for the performance standard, we need to classify computers according to its type. And for the objectives for today, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to identify the types of computers, differentiate hardware and software, and create a timeline of exposure to computers. So have you seen or used a computer before? I'm sure na karamihan sa inyo ay nakakita na ng computer that pa. Maaaring habang pinapanood nyo ang video na ito, ay gumagamit kayo ng isang computer or computer-like device. Okay, so can you describe what it look like? Very good. When you say computer, most of them have screens, meron siyang computer mouse, meron CPU kung tawagin natin, or the tower case, or the computer case. What else? Some computers have speakers, and some have built-in speakers, right? So, all of your answers are correct. So, people around the world are users of computer. Mapa, anong age man yan, diba? gumagamit na sila ng computer. Okay, so, it is a tool for education, for business, for science, for investigation, and also for communication. So, though computers nowadays are smarter and complex in terms of its features, it still has the basic parts and components for functionality. So, sa lesson na ito, uh, let's try to identify ano nga ba yung mga iba't ibang uri ng computers available sa atin. Okay? So, I have this, I have here three pictures. Can you identify what type of computers are there? The first picture is what we call the desktop computer. Very good. How about the second one? It is called a laptop. Diba? And the third one is called a tablet. Very good. Okay? So, what is a computer? When we say computer, it is an electronic device that manipulates information or data. It has the ability to store, to retrieve, and to process data. It can be used to type documents, send email, play games, or just browse the web. And a computer can also be used to edit or create spreadsheets, presentations, and even videos. So, computer nowadays can do a lot of things, unlike before na kung saan it is only used for a communication, it's only used for uh, typing documents, diba? Ngayon, you can now do whatever you want. You can watch videos, play music, or even play games, diba? So, lahat na ng features ng computer, ng computer ngayon ay available na sa akin na. Okay? So, all of types of computers are equipped with what we call the hardware and the software, which allows them to function. But, how do we describe or how do we differentiate hardware from software? Tingnan nga natin, ano bang pinagkaiba ng hardware sa software? Diba? From the word itself, hardware, it is an any part of your computer that has a physical structure, such as the keyboard or the mouse. And hardware also includes all of the computer's internal parts. Diba? Lahat ng tangible things sa inyong computer ay what we call the hardware, the speakers, the external cameras, diba? webcam, hardware yan. What else? The computer mouse, the keyboard, the computer case, as well as yung nasa loob ng computer case, the motherboard, the system unit, the CPU is, called, is what we call the hardware. Okay? When we say software, it is, set, it is an, any set of instructions that tells the hardware what to do and how to do it. Diba? Si software na yung utak na kung saan siya yung nagdidikta. Ano ba yung dapat gawin ni hardware para makarespond doon sa direction na binigay mo bilang user. Okay? A software, examples of this are web browsers, games, 
and the word processors. Diba? Sa mas madaling salita, si software nagbibigay ng instruction kay hardware para mag-function ang computer. Okay? So, ito ang kaibahan ng hardware sa software. Yan, si hardware, ayan yung examples. Diba? May printers, may headphones, ayan, speakers, as well as the uh, in, uh, internal parts of a computer. You have the monitor and the CPU or computer, computer case. Okay, sa software naman, we have this the operating system which is the Windows 7. We have the Java, we have the PowerPoint presentation or Microsoft PowerPoint. We have the Google Chrome, diba? Mac API, example of Activirus, Android, Gmail, and a word processor called Microsoft Word. So, yan yung kaibahan ng hardware sa software. Okay. So, ano pa ba yung iba pang halimbawa ng computers? So, what are the different types of computers? So, ito yung basic na desktop computer. And did you know that a calculator is also a computer? Why? Because it functions like a computer. It's, it can create data. Diba? What else? It manipulates information. It gives you the right calculation kapag nag-type ka ng formulas dyan. Uh, what else? We have here a, an ATM machine. Diba? It gives you uh, money. Diba? Bakit siya naging computer? Because it can store information of its users, of its clients. So, ikaw ay holder ng isang bank account or ng isang credit card or isang debit card. Once na insert mo dyan, pinaprocess na ATM machine yung information mo Ano ba yung pangalan mo? Ano yung trabaho mo? Diba? Makano yung laman ng bank account, account mo? Then, that's the time na bibigyan ka niya ng pera based doon sa discharge amount na gusto mo i-withdraw. Okay? Next is also the cash register. So, it functions just like a computer. So, the first type of computer is what we call the desktop computer. So, many people use desktop computers at work, at home, or even at school. So, desktop computers are designed to be placed on a desk. Diba? Yang siya tinawag ng desktop. And they are typically made of a few different parts, including the computer keys, the monitor, the keyboard, and the mouse. Diba? So, this type of computer began with the original IBM PC that was introduced in 1981. So, other companies began creating similar computers which were called as IBM PC Compatible or even short, shortened as PC. So, today, this is the most common type of personal computer and it typically includes Microsoft Windows Operating So, we have two different types of desktop computers, the PC and the Mac. Diba? Available sa karamihan sa atin bilang Pilipinos ay yung tinatawag natin personal computer or PC. Diba? Kung medyo nakakaluwag-luwag naman tayo, so we can afford Mac or the Macintosh. Macintosh sorry. So the Macintosh computer was introduced in 1984 and it was the first widely sold personal computer with a graphical user interface or GUI. Diba? So, all Macs are made by one company only, which is the Apple. And they almost use, almost always use the Mac OS X operating system. Diba? Sa Macintosh or sa Mac, isa lang ang kanyang company na nag-create nito, which is the Apple. Diba? Unlike sa PC na pwedeng iba't ibang kompanya ang mag-develop ng ganitong klaseng device. Okay, so we have Dell, HP, diba? Asus, or what else, diba? Marami pang iba't ibang uri ng company na kung saan uh, nag-develop sila ng kanilang version ng personal computer. Okay? So next type of computer is what we call the laptop computer. So the second type of computer you may be familiar with is a laptop computer are commonly called as laptop. So, laptops are battery-powered computers that are more portable than desktops, diba? allowing you to use them almost anywhere. Diba? Napaka-portable niya. In a way, na close mo lang yung monitor niya, then magiging 
para ano na siya, manipis na diba? Then you can insert it on your bag and then you can bring it anywhere you like. Unlike in a computer, in a desktop computer, na hindi mo siya kayang ilagay sa bag mo. Diba? So napakarami niyang parts, hiwa-hiwala siya. At mostly nakalocate lang siya sa isang uh, location, permanent location sa school, sa bahay, or sa inyong trabaho. Diba? So napaka-portable ng laptop computer kasi built-in na lahat. Na dito na si mouse, na dito na si keyboard, si monitor na andyan na rin. And then yung laman ng computer case natin, na na rin sa loob ng ating laptop. Diba? All in one. Sa isang laptop. Okay, the third type of computer is what we call the tablet computer. So tablet computers or tablets are handheld computers that are even more portable than laptop. Instead of a keyboard and mouse, tablets use a touch-sensitive screen for typing and navigation. So the iPad is an example of a tablet. Diba? Kung si computer ay hiwahiwala yung kanyang parts, si laptop naman, built-in na sa isang device, ito naman si tablet computer ay mas compact, mas maliit compared kay desktop computer at kay laptop. Bakit? Kasi si tablet computer ay pwedeng kasing laki lang siya na short bag paper or even kalahati pa ng short bag paper. Baga noon lang siya kalit. And then, hindi mo na kailangan ng external mouse. Bakit? Kasi, ang magiging mouse mo ay ang iyong dalil. Diba? Ipo-point mo lang siya. Kasi, ang screen ng tablets ay uh, touch sensitive. Diba? Pwede mo nang gamitin. May touch screen kung tawagin natin. You can navigate any applications inside a tablet using just your finger. Okay? Next, are you familiar with this one? Yan ito yung tawag nating server. But, a server is a, also a computer that serves up information to other computers on a network. So, for example, whenever you use the internet, you're looking at something that is stored on a server. So many businesses also use local file servers to store and share files internally. Okay? So lahat ng information nyo ay pwedeng nakalocate sa isang server. So ito ay isang isa po ng supercomputer na kung saan maraming information ang kaya niyang i-hold. And then, kung, may gaga kung gagamit ka ng another computer, you can access it diba? using that computer and then makukuha mo yung data mo from that server. Okay? Okay, so ano pa ba yung iba pang halimbawa ng computer? We have the smartphones. Okay, so smartphones, many cellphones can do a lot of things computers can do, including browsing the internet and also playing games. They are often called as smartphones. Diba? Kung yung dati, uh, dati ang cellphone, may basic phone lamang meron pang antena. Diba? Kung nakakita na kayo noon, meron pang antena ang cellphones dati. Diba? Hindi siya pwedeng, o meron nga yung dating cellphone na walang screen. Diba? Ang tanging pwede mo nang gawin sa cellphone na yun ay tumawa. Diba? Kahit text, hindi mo pwede siya magagawa. Only calls. Phone calls lang ang available. At malalaki siya, hindi mo siya pwede ipusa. Okay? And then hanggang sa na-develop siya na yun, na-develop, hanggang sa lumipis na lumipis, lumiit na lumiit, at naging ito na, tinatawag na natin siyang smartphone. Kaya na niyang i-perform kung ano ang kayang gawin ng isang computer. You can play games, you can browse the internet, you can watch videos, you can play music, and also you can type uh, on, a wave, on a word processor, you can create presentation, anything you want to do, pwede mo nang gawin sa isang smartphone. Diba? Ganyan naka-advance ang ating technology ngayon. Diba? Paliit na ng paliit, paportable na ng paportable. Okay? Next type is also what we call the wearables. Okay? So, wearable technology is a general term for a group of devices including fitness trackers and smartwatches. They are designed to be worn out or worn throughout the day and these devices are often called wearables for short. Diba? Nakakita na ba kayo ng Apple Watch? Diba? Pinauso ngayon eh sa mga relo pinauso yung analog na clock, diba? meron na tayong tinatawag na Apple Watch na kung saan pwede mo na rin siyang mag-play ng games, diba? pwede ka na rin tumawag, diba? 
kayang-kaya mo na rin gawin, gawin ko ano yung kayang gawin ng isang smartphone. Kaya mo na rin i-detect ano ba yung pulse rate mo. Baka pag nag-exercise ka, meron tayong kinakabit sa ating braso. Kung ma- para makita mo kung gano'n na ba kalayo ang tinakbo mo, gano'n na ba ang calories ang na-burn mo. Diba? So, napaka-advanced na ng ating uh, technology nowadays. Okay? So, sa wearables, pwede, meron na rin tayong tinatawag na Apple Tag. Diba? So, Apple Tag ngayon na kung saan uh, isa, isa siyang uri ng tracker, G, parang GPS tracker na kung saan ilagay mo lang siya sa isang dip, sa isang gamit mo, ilagay mo siya sa loob ng bag, ilagay mo sa collar ng inyong aso. Diba? Once na wala yung bag or yung aso, kaya mo siyang i-detect gamit ang iyong smartphone using the GPS. Diba? So, yan ang mga uh, uh, technologies or gadgets na meron na tayo ngayon. Diba? So, all of them are called computers also. Okay? So, ano pa? Ito pa. Halimbawa ay game consoles. So, a game console is a special specialized type of computer that is used for playing video games on your television. Diba? Nakakita na ba kayo ng Nintendo Switch? Uh, PlayStation? Diba? Familiar kayo dyan? Uh, ano pa? Xbox? Yan. Halimbawa yun na game consoles. Diba? May, pwede kayo maglaro ng uh, role-playing games or RPG games. Diba? FPS games, first-person shooter games. Yan. Pwede pwede nyo ang gawin. Okay? So, ito connect ko lang siya sa television para maging magsilbi na inyong monitor or screen para makita nyo yung uh, nilalaro nyo yung games. Okay? And the next one, we call TVs. So, TVs ba? Example din ng computer. Yes. Bakit? Kasi many TVs now include applications or apps that let you access various types of online content. So, for example, you can stream video from the internet directly onto your television. Diba? So, yun yung tinatawag natin ngayon na smart TV. Diba? Kung anong kayang gawin ni computer, kung sa computer, kung sa laptop, nakakapanood ka ng video, nakakapag-play ka ng games, nakakapag-play ka ng music, kayang-kaya mo rin ang gawin sa inyong television. Diba? As long as yung TV nyo ay capable ng mga applications na ito. Okay, so hindi lahat ng flat screen TV, hindi lahat ng TV ngayon ay capable na mag-download ng applications. Only smart TVs can do it. Okay? So, tandaan po natin yan. Okay. So, I hope na clear lahat ng lesson natin, lahat ng uh, informations na na-present sa inyo. So, let's try to do this activity. So, in column B, write that uh, right the type of computer you can see in column E for column E this type is characteristics so write your answer in this case and so this is the column E we have three types of computers there and then you need to identify what type of computer is being referred to and just write two descriptions that best describe these types of computers okay so you can write your answer in a piece of paper and submit it to your subject Okay, so before we end our lesson, so I will leave you this quotation from Christian Lou Lange, a historian, which he said, technology is a useful servant, but a dangerous master. So that's all for today, class. Thank you. See you on our next video.